plant cell in this lesson we're going to explain uh, the structure of a plant cell there are two important types of cell we are going to look at which is plant cell and a uh, animal cell we'll compare this in the next lessons so i will first uh, start by defining a cell what is a cell a cell is a structural and functional unit of all living organisms also known as a building block of, li of life we can define cell as a building block of life or as a structural and functional unit of all living organ uh, organisms let's go on to structure of a plant cell i will draw slowly draw this you can see that i put this thick layer then a thin layer inside So after drawing, I'm going to label each and every part I've drawn. Also note that I'm not going to draw everything in a cell, but I'm going to draw what is required by our syllabus for combined science. So these are just the basics of a cell. So I'm going to label this thick, thick part is called the cell, and this thin part I've drawn inside is called the cell membrane. This is the cell, which is thick, and this is the some membrane then this inside at the center the central part here is called a vacuole then we have a vacuole membrane which uh, uh, which is the membrane for vacuole it's called the vacuole membrane then we have the cytoplasm i've shaded in green this outer part outside the vacuole but inside the cell membrane is called a, a cytoplasm it contains a organelles and here we are just interested in the chloroplast since it's a plant cell this contains chlorophyll the green pigment so it's called the chloroplast then we have the nuclear the nucleus and the nucleolus which is inside the nucleus but here we are just uh, interested in the nucleus so this is the basic structure of a plant cell you must uh, uh, always remember about the cell wall, cell membrane the chloroplast which is inside the cytoplasm then we have the vacuole and the vacuole membrane then the nucleus i'm going to uh, explain the function of each of these uh, parts of plant cell with a cell wall which allows water and uh, dissolves substance it dissolves substance to, to pass through it allows or dissolves substance to pass through Then we have a cell membrane which stops uh, cell contents from escaping. So there will be liquids inside the, a cell. So this cell membrane uh, stops cell contents, which are those liquids and organelles from escaping from the cell and control substance entering the cell. Then we have the nucleus, which uh, coordinates the cell activities then we have the cytoplasm which gives a cell its shape which means if the cytoplasm drains uh, the the cell will lose its shape so it keep organelles like chloroplast in their place and gives a cell its shape then the vacuum it stores water in a cell and helps maintain pressure on the cell so, so these are the uh, basic functions of the basic a components of a cell so this marks the end of our lesson in the next lesson we'll be looking at animal cell